entire beginning with this awareness that everything that you do, you go into the lobby tomorrow, everything you do is about the unfoldment of your soul. Everything that you do is about the unfoldment of the soul of humanity. Everything that you do is about the unfoldment of more God consciousness coming through you. So that everything, everything you do becomes sacred. Because you're doing it for the unfoldment of the gifts of divinity that are being stirred into activity through the sacred action that you are taking. Secondly, there must always be a willingness to change. Not the other person. A willingness for us to change, expand our perception, our point of view, our positionality, so that we're seeing more and more and more of who and what we are and who and what everyone is. Thirdly, now we begin to embrace the spiritual principles that govern the universe. That last night, Mary Ann had a speak into expression the kind of world we were willing to see. She was allowing for that which was coming out of our mouth to be a blessing rather than a curse. We begin to use these spiritual principles of describing the kind of world we want to see because the law says you do not describe what you see. The law says you see what you describe. So you are in the process of describing the world and you will begin to see it. The neural vegetative reaction of your body ultimately allows you to see your constant description of your life and the life of the world that you're living in. So when you're looking on television and having that experience of fear, doubt, worry, a sense of a separation, you need to understand that all you're looking at in the newspaper or at, on your news, you're receiving a call for prayer from a society that is sick and lost in consumerism. So you don't look at the newspaper as a reality, you look at it as a prayer request. So that, that's how it is. This is a prayer request. So you have you garner these universal spiritual principles that allow you to describe something differently, allow you to embrace the, 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 the oneness that you are and speak it into expression, and then you watch as that which you are describing begins to manifest with an ease, with a grace, and with an elegance because you're in tune with it. And then the fourth pillar of fire, as has been mentioned last night and the day before, is service, seva. You find a way to be in service making all of your actions sacred so that you are living to give. The world has nothing for you. You are a gift of divinity. You have incarnated here to share your gifts, talents, and capacities to birth a whole new world. The world can't make you happy. There is nothing in this world that can bring you joy. You are here to give joy, to bring happiness, to bring love. You lose 
oh my God, when is this going to happen? Oh, poor me, no one understands me. You, you, oh my God, this is just hard work. No, you lose all of that. Because you're the ambassador of the next stage of human evolution. The ambassador of that which is seeking to emerge right here and right now. That which is wanting to come forward. You know that every problem is an answer, is a question trying to ask itself. And every question is an answer trying to reveal itself. And every answer is an action or a way of life trying to birth itself. You've tackled the problem. You know that the question has become, what is peace really? And that answer has now led you to an action and a way of life. That the Jericho walls will begin to crumble because of the vibration we hold. And that this U.S. Department of Peace will be an evidence of the coagulation of a thought of the beloved community. And an instrumentality through which that kind of peaceful means will be in operation. This is what we are about. One with God, majority 